What's up, y'all? BK Sun and Ardent back for episode number 30 of our Paper Mario the Origami King series. Where we're picking up from Bonehead Island. Trying to figure out what in the world I have to do here. I know I can make this jump, so we're gonna try this. That looks like a toad statue. There's a toad here somewhere as well. You saved me. As thanks, let me show you where to find a sunken treasure. I'd claim it, but I'm lazy. I'm gonna put some the shot for me, thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is like Wind Waker. Yeah. Whenever I think about Wind Waker, I always think about how I was disappointed with Skyrim Sword when I first played it. I thought it was gonna be mainly focused around you being in the sky. But then when you go to a certain these planets, I think there was a lot of mispotential with that game. Good I gotta get. I, I hear that the story of Star Wars is pretty good. But mm. that's the only 3D Zelda that I've never been in. And I think it's just. I mean, it wasn't even that I didn't enjoy it, it's just that I wasn't. I don't think I was playing Nintendo games much at that point. Yeah. That's when I really was into stuff like God of War and Uncharted. And I had, I guess, not. not Subconsciously taking a break from playing a lot of Nintendo stuff. I wasn't multiplayer with y'all. So I do hope that eventually they remaster it for the Switch because I do want to play it. Yeah. And for some reason, I don't know. If, I wonder if that's one of the games that I lost when I lost a bunch of movies in some games. I'm not sure. It shouldn't have been any of any Nintendo games now that I think about it. I know that there's some games that we can't find at the moment. Yeah, like Mario Galaxy 2. Man, I don't know what happened to Mario Galaxy 2. That game has been going for a long time. Yeah. Same with my memory of it too. I remember not a single thing about that game. Even though I'm pretty sure I beat it. The only thing I do remember though is that 100% of those games, both the first and second one, is very torturous. Because you have to do everything as Luigi, right? Uh... Is that right? Maybe. There's like some things, but like, the one we had to like control the ball that you're riding on on top of was very annoying. I don't really like Oh, that. yes, yes. Yeah. I remember in the first, um, Galaxy, what I didn't like is that trash in the game, man. Oh yeah, me too. I hated that thing so much. Yeah. But I think there was like an easier way to do it was that those coin things. Yeah, you're hand, supposed yeah. to throw it to the coins. Yeah, I didn't it, it that. used to frustrate me so much. Yeah. There was a lot of things in old Nintendo games that were very frustrating. The crazy thing is the first three D Mario I ever beat was three D Land. Really? And then I beat three D World with y'all and then I, the first console 3D Mario I beat was Odyssey. That would be 64. That would be 64. Wow. I didn't... I, it, it was fun, but I didn't really like the controls. That's why I'm hoping that these um, remasters are real. Mm -hmm. But I do want to play it, and I think they're just... The N64 controller, I was able to use it for other things. Like, I was able to use it for Crash. Yeah. Which is similar, but for some reason, I cannot get into it with 64. If you seek paradise, gather the three orbs on Diamond Island. Paradise? What in the world is this statue talking about? Oh no. Ha ha ha! <laughs> I know some people had PTSD when they saw that. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> but I do plan on going back and beating everything. I didn't beat Sunshine. I liked Sunshine a lot, but I thought Sunshine was kind of difficult. And it might have just been... I don't know. It was difficult for me. It's not really. Yeah. Seek and you shall find. Come follow me to paradise. Oh, this sounds like fun. 
But, well, I guess we need to deal with the purple streamer first. Do we? Yes. Alright, let me get up out of here. Yeah. The thing for me with Sunshine was that I hated using Flood. That's what everybody says that doesn't like it. I like Flood. Like, I... I always compare it to me not liking writing Yoshi in any of the Mario games. I always hated getting Yoshi. I would always avoid it. You hated I, Yoshi? I hate writing Yoshi. It's Even just, in like Super Mario World? Every single Mario game. What? I hate Yoshi. Yeah. I just can't. No, stop it. <laughs> it just feels stop. way more fluid and fun to play as regular Mario. So you don't like you don't like Yoshi's Island? No. The, the Super Nintendo one? No. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Is that a will? Yeah. Is he gonna attack me? No, he's cool. I can't believe it. That is like one of the best 2D platformers. That game is amazing. I didn't like it that much. I can't believe you. It's just a combination of Mario crying constantly and then I don't really like the controls. What? Yeah. I think I, I was able to tolerate Yoshi touching Go. Like the other Yoshi games, I couldn't really See, now you sound like me with Kirby, because the other Campus Kirby game is all right. Campus Curse is the best. It's, Yo, it's the best Kirby game, I swear. It's, it's, it's an amazing game. It's good, but it's not the best. It is. Game. Man, in my opinion, it is the best. That's fair. I've always recorded either Space Pod, Amazing Mirror, or Superstar Wars. I gotta play more. I've always associated Kirby games with me and Kirby games. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, most of them are easy, but it's just like very aesthetic and relaxing. In the same way that a lot of people associate uh, Yoshi games with me and Kirby games. But Yoshi, the first Yoshi I was yeah, not, and I don't it's, understand. It's a good game. I can't believe you don't like that. I love that game. It's not for me. I understand. But jeez. I feel like it's just better for me to watch. But like again, I just... Like, I like Yoshi's design, but I can't stand... That's the other playing. thing. Like, that game is gorgeous. Yeah. Like, I'm a big fan of, like, that... Kind of, like, the grand style that they have. I think, like, the art style is really good. Nice. I can't believe it. I am I am shocked right now. Yeah, I don't see that. Like normally like I like most Nintendo games. Like I think that's probably like, the main outlier for me. Yoshi games. Wow. No, no. Most Yoshi games are not good. But Yoshi Island that is one of my favorite games. It's one of my favorite platforms. I put that up with Mario 3, Mario World. Yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe I just have to play it again. I yeah. think you should. I think you should really just try it out on the on the SNES one. We consider that. But I've been playing it a little. Because the game that I am playing right now is this. I'm playing uh, Rabbids, which is really good. Even though I keep on coming to request some glitches that are making me mad. But the glitches make me basically dashboard. I hate that. This is a moon, a partial crescent moon to be precise. In that case, we'll name it Crescent Moon Island. Okay, I'm supposed to be looking for some diamond thing right now, but right? Uh... This oh, wait, I'm is supposed to go to the X island. This is part of it. Get up? Alright. I'll be more helpful this time around because this can go on for a very long time if you don't do it. <laughs> you saying I don't know what I'm doing? I don't say you don't know what you're doing. It's like very self explanatory, but there's a lot of islands you can discover. Wow, this, wow, this island really does look like the moon. So. When it's shaped like this, it's called Crescent Moon, huh? Learn something new every day. I'm going to need to throw some holes, I see. 
And you also don't like the like the DK games, at least not. Oh, no. You don't even like the uh, SNES one. No, uh, I don't think I like any of them. Wow. Yeah. Like the minecart levels, but yeah, the minecart levels that. are really good. Well, I like a lot of it. I like like I like the animals that you can ride and stuff like that. And I'm, the first few were pretty good. I didn't get far in. DK Returns, and I've played Tropical Freeze here and there, and I have to say that I don't like Tropical Freeze as much as a lot of people do. People call it like the best 2D platform of all time, and so far I don't see that. Yeah. I think the Donkey Kong Country Returns is the one that I've beaten. Oh, you actually beat it though? Yeah. Can I make this go off further? You charge it. That's too far. Oh, fuck. Come on. I'm scared of work. Stop going so far. Is it like only... Oh. I just want you to go like... Not full. Jeez! I don't want to button down. Thank you. Are you gonna grab? Oh, gave me Animal Crossing flashback, man. I still have not caught a hundred in a row. Oh, yeah. But that's because most of the time I'm playing Animal Crossing with the sound off. For reasons I won't get into. I don't want to tell myself, just in case people have to watch these videos. It's work related. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I finally moved my museum at Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. I never moved it. Remember when you were saying to move it to that area? I finally mm -hmm. moved it there. Oh. That's good. I haven't touched my island. I don't know. You don't play that much right now. Yeah. Oh, wait. Right there. Give me the toad. Did not have a toad on it, end? That's the bobber. I look, I look, I could have sweat. Oh, wait, there is a toad here, though. Yeah, you fish. I don't want to fight any more of these fools. I need to fight toad. I need to fight toads. I think the one that was about to get hooked was toad. Get it over? Yeah, it's the one in the back. Back here, so I 
That's gotta make it difficult, man. This is literally Animal Crossing, except for you get a prompt. And they also hit the thing three more times. No, sometimes, man, I swear it's, it, it, it can be more than four. And that's what happens, I start getting impatient. I remember I got up to, I believe it was 69. And then I messed up. Now, I don't want to fish again. Hold on, I'm, I'm done. No! Oh. Nobody saw that. What's up, so I wish I could try fishing for myself. No. Oh gosh, clumsy. Alright, where did that development school sign go? I want so Nintendo recently uh trademarked a lot of or we registered a lot of Zelda stuff, and next year is the 35th anniversary of Zelda. So, every, people who think insiders have said that Mario is coming this year. So, I wonder if they're doing a Zelda collection next year. I would hope so. I hope so too. But I also hope that the Breath of the Wild sequel comes out next year too. I wonder what I'm supposed to do here as the Earth Element tool. I guess I'll just freestyle it and see what happens. Ready? Okay. That will never not be ridiculous. Look at the fishies. Whoa, the crescent moon turned into a full moon. How cool. I mean, uh, I knew that would happen. Collect the three orbs you must journey to Diamond Island. Let me like. Oh, what's in there? Is it big? Do you think I'm vi as valuable? It could be anything. I'm so excited. No ring fit, not right now. You have solved this island's test. The diamond key is now yours. Huh? I don't see a key in here. Is this a letter? Hey bro, got the key. Come find me on the mushroom safe island. Luigi. Luigi was here first. How in the world did he find this chest? Okay, we need just we need a paper for Luigi already. There's something else in here. Luigi is always off on his own adventures, and now he's like one step ahead of Mario every time. What's he doing? What is this thing? It looks like it fits in your hand pretty well. Those who have claimed the key, let my map guide your quest. Weird. Oh, let me leave these alone. I don't know if hitting them is gonna get rid of them. I don't have time. That way, they're so dear. Look at my toe tracker. Are you serious? What? Am I not? Do you not see the difference? Oh, like oh, oh! I'm not even looking <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I wasn't even looking at that flopping toad. I just like, okay, this thing's flopping here. They must all be fish. Chush, man. I chunk it. I saw something flopping there, I just didn't really look at it. Ah, uh, the crescent moon has filled out to become a full moon. Th thus, crescent moon island shall now be known as full moon island. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to use red X's. That's what I need. Mean. It's going to go on for a while. Oh, so I'm not supposed to go to the red X. No, those are all just like treasure coins. Only 
It's one of the, no, one of them isn't really that important. It's like trying to hundred percent the game. So that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not something you want to really do on a place where. No. Mm-hmm. It's sort of you're telling me it's like. I'm not going in the right direction. Open the seat here. Uh, go straight to the left from here. No, I didn't. Oh, I'll take this. Sorry, sir. You can go to that. Oh, a spade island. This one is unmistakably spade shaped. We'll call it spade item. island. A game that should have been in Clubhouse Games. Spades. Spade Island. Open up. Oh, what are you doing in there? people here. My friends should be able to help me if you can find them on this island. Got friends on the island. There goes one right there. <clears throat> Go into one of the spots. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, friend. I'm coming in. Seriously? Number two. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, friend. I'm coming. There goes another one. Oh, this has this effect. Oh, the three. Whoa, this looks bad. Hang on, friend. I'm coming. look important. No idea what they're trying to say. They might come in handy though. So I'll sketch a quick copy. If you want to see the symbols again, press X on the great C and I'll show you them too. Oh my gosh, get out of here, fish. This is like sword. Okay, where's the other toads? Can you stop jumping up here? That's funny. You're forcing me into fights I don't want to do now. Okay, there's supposed to be too much toads here. I'm gonna have to turn on my toad thing. <laughs> With a toe tracker. That's me. That's why. There must be some way to get that toad out of the barrel. Oh, and do you want to use those symbols I copied one more time? See? Why? It's not gonna help me right now. 
Are there other islands I have to go to to complete this? No. I will ask you again. Oh. Press Y. Oh. Thank you. I'm stupid. <laughs> Toad radar. Looks bad. Hang on, friend. I'm coming. Get in there. Get in there. I did it. Where's your clothes, Tom? Thanks for saving all of us, especially me. I don't have a reward for you, but I can show you a cool spot to fish for treasure out here. Oh, that's just what he's doing. Okay, let me see. Ah, my vest is gone. No, the world can see my shame. <laughs> yes, please, cover that up. Okay, I was about to say, how do I unclip? Alright, so I think I'm seeing the pattern. This is part of it. Be more to the right, I think. Oh my gosh! Still kind of inverted. There we go. An iconic, familiar club shape. I call this one Club Island. Okay, there's more than one island per how many faces. Alright, let me go on the east side. Probably one of the things that I hate the most about games like this. When I do the tall grass thing, I have to find something in it. I hate stuff like that. It's oh really gosh. annoying. Yay, thanks Mario. If you had time to save me, I'm guessing you'll have a bit more time to spare. I want to get to that relaxing spot just past the tall grass, but there are too many bad guys. You've got time to escort me there, right? Thanks. No need to answer. I'll just follow you silently. You're gonna get lost. No, he won't be that annoying. It's just he has to find his friends in the grass. Oh, God. And I have to avoid that of one. I think that's just lazy. And it's just trying to feign the difficulty when it's not supposed to be that difficult. It's just weird. Oh, 
case I want the paratroopers to be in the straight line. Yeah. You have to slide as your first step. Slide the thingies down the plants. No. The other group. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I can't handle them. <coughs> Alrighty. Then hammer time. I used to hate these things. Because you can't jump on them. And then there's this in Mario 3. No. Is it Mario 3? Yeah, yeah, I think, but there's this the level on Mario 3 where you're supposed to. They're like blocking this exit that you're supposed to get to. It's like a secret exit. Mm -hmm. And when I was younger, I could never do it. Um, but I did learn how to do it when I got older, but. They used to frustrate me so much. Yeah, I get choked. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, there's a little I mean, when he used to trap it. Cause that's another annoying thing. You like you can't just walk into the outside hammer. Yeah. Doing this again. How many moves do you give me? Three. So y'all just really trying to mess around with me right now. I see. I see y'all. Let's, let's try to frustrate him. Don't worry, I got this. Though. kind of HP boost after this last No, oh, that's not always at the end of the oh, Alright. Alright, let me get past this part so that we can do How many are there? Uh, I think there's four. Oh. Right here. 
Oh, so I don't even really need the vibration. No, that's why they do the flash. I think, it, I think the real reason why they started doing that is because of the you know, switch light. The switch light like doesn't have no angle. So it's like when they had to go back and patch those parts in Odyssey. Come on, you're close by. I have to feel. Okay, maybe. Wait, wait. Leave me alone. Oh yeah, it's working. Yeah. Imagine not having the radio. It's just frustrating. And it's hard to say that's fun too, because it's just not. Like, it's not really interesting either. Like as soon as I saw the tall grass the first time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Tall grass is becoming a bane of gamers' existence, period. Yeah. And even if they don't use it that often, so it's not really like coming out. This is not a fun game. In my opinion, like, what does making it tall grass even add? Because, like, one, you can't see where the toads are, and you can still put the enemies there. Like, what's the point of not being able to see where you are so far? Yeah, that makes sense, but that's, it's like, some games use it as a way for you to do stealth missions, which is also, it's also kind of dumb. Yeah. I could never enjoy stealth games. No. I, like, I liked the stealth, the stealth game that I've enjoyed the most is Metal Gear Solid 3 fights. I didn't play it like a stealth game the majority of the time. Oh. I just brute forced my way through most of it. Dude, that's... I feel like they do that on purpose because some people can't enjoy the experience yeah. fully stealth. And that's why they let you be able to brute force things. I think that's good. That's good game design. But when you're forced to literally do stealth all the way through with like no exceptions. Yeah. Then it's just very annoying and frustrating. Some people love those experiences. Yeah. And I can understand that. Like, at some point, this feels very repetitive and not all that fun. Well, then that's where good gameplay design comes into effect. If you are developing a bunch of varied stealth, just a varied stealth gameplay, then... Oh, I'm about to run out of battery. Come on, where are you? I don't have time for this. Come on. All right, director. Hello? Is that the last one? Yeah. Thank God. Alright. Let me turn this off. Oh, that would also be another annoying thing. Because what do you do after the battery does run out? Go back to Toad Town. Go back to that place and you should not have to do that. Hi, I guess those folded soldiers are pretty scary. Come on. Bargle, Bargo. I never ever forget. I'll ever, I'll never ever forgive those folded soldiers. Come on, last dude, come out, please. I don't got time for this. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Those folded soldiers sure are a laugh riot. Okay, so you enjoy it. <laughs> hey, it ha it happens. I mean, it can't be a playthrough without me falling into a hole. Probably been a few episodes. The thing was, I was pressing to throw this stupid confetti. I don't know why my finger was still on the stick. More weird marks. I still don't know what this is about, but I might as well update my copy to match. Can y'all, like, do something so I can get off of this island already? Oh, thank you, thank you. All four of us are back together. Yay. Why is there a shy guy up in that tree? I'm Joy, yay. Grr, I'm Anger. I'm Pathos. I'm Humor, yuck, yuck, yuck. And together we are known as Feeling Fungi. Okay. Don't you just love it? 
You love it. I can tell. No, it's horrible. We'll be putting this act on the road. We'll be putting this act on the road soon. So thanks in advance for spreading the word. I won't be doing it. As extra thanks, we'll show you a spot on your map where treasure is waiting. All right, that's nice. Okay, everyone. Once more, we're feeling the best Buffy episode. You actually did get forced to watch Buffy, even though you probably weren't paying attention. No, that's why I was staying up though. Huh? I, was, I was literally just like staying up and watching. I didn't understand anything. <laughs> hey, buddy. I see you got a toad radar gizmo. I'll return. Oh, there we go. Oh. You have to pay though. What if you don't have any coins? <laughs> Alright. So he recharged our toad radar, and we're gonna recharge. Ooh. Thank you so much. Huh? Good one. Yeah. Nice segue, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And follow us on our socials down in the description. This has been We Play Too Much, and we're out. Later.